All right, to a senator from one of the Gulf states affected, watching with keen interest what the president will say tonight. With me now, Mississippi Republican Senator Roger Wicker. Does the president, Senator, have the power to do what he is going to do tonight? Set up an independent sort of overseer of a lot of BP money out of BP's hands. I think he probably has the power to do what he's going to do, and I think what he's going to try to do is is uh, is force uh, and and cajole and coerce BP into agreeing to this. If he get if he could get him to agree to it, then uh, the question of the legality is uh, moot. That's a very good point. In other words, force the issue without necessarily changing the law here. In other words, right. shame, uh, BP, gonna... shame BP into doing this, right? Right. Uh, uh, your, your previous guess was right. We already have a law on this. And the, and the shame of it is the Democrats in Congress are trying to take that trust fund and spend it on other things right now. Uh, there, there's a proposal, even as we speak, to spend some of that uh, oil cleanup trust fund money uh, on the stimulus package, on the new extenders act. So uh, the, the law is already there. Well, Senator, uh, but, but we, me, we, do know that, we do know that crises beget opportunities for some shrewd politicians to get what they want. And, and this president said what you will. He's very shrewd at this stuff. There is talk that the, the president will outline uh, putting a price on carbon as a way to make serious uh, progress on climate change, that sort of thing. In other words, a push a green agenda uh, on the back of this disaster. What do you make of that? Uh, a carbon tax, a, an energy tax at the national level would drive even more jobs overseas and it would be bad policy. Uh, the, the president would, uh, would, I think, be going way too far tonight if he tries to do cap and tax and, and use this crisis as an opportunity uh, to push an agenda that wasn't going to get very far. Well, he's got the wind at his back or so he's going to figure. Well, uh, he, he may uh, feel that way. I really want to get back, though, to, to one other point I wanted to make sure. about the claims process. BP has done a terrible job uh, of administrating, uh, administering these claims. And, uh, and, and there are a lot of people on the coast, a lot of my folks I was meeting with, uh, I had a little town meeting uh, Sunday afternoon. And I think a lot of uh, people would like some sort of change. Yeah. So it may be that, that there's a feeling that the this big federal cumbersome bureaucracy uh, couldn't do any worse than BP. Well, you're exactly uh, right, Senator. That the they, polls that they could the, actually do worse. Well, you know, the the polls validate what you say. So we'll see tonight how the president takes advantage of that. But always a pleasure having you. Thank you, sir. Good to be with you. Thank you. All right. So here's all you really need to know about.